What is going on, everybody? DJ Mines here. All right, so today's video, I want to talk about Ethereum solo mining. I'm back at it, and I know that might sound crazy. I've been kind of on and off doing it. We did hit a block, not today, unfortunately, but we did hit one a couple weeks ago. And actually, we're at about 9.45 giga hash. Here you can see I, I made sure to uh, take a little snippet of that, and I just turned three rigs off so that way I can make this video so you're not hearing a lot of fans. So we're about 9.45 giga hash, give or take, right? So currently at 40% luck, and it did start off at 2% luck carrying over. So we're really at like 38, but there are some good reasons of why I've decided to do this. And it's not just gambling. It is kind of a calculated time for me right now. And the first one, it's not because TPS made this video, but I did notice that TPS mentioned the reason yesterday, uh, and not specifically to me, but he talked about the Ethereum difficulty bomb being delayed. And that's huge, guys. That's that's huge for me. I saw this from one of the dev calls. I didn't make a video on it because I was at work, but I noticed that actually they said today, which was the 29th of June, or leading into the 30th at around 2 a.m. Central, so really about you know 4 a.m. Eastern, I believe, that the difficulty bomb was going to be lowered. And so what does that mean, man? What does that really mean? If we look up the Ethereum hash rate, if we look up uh, how all of this works, right? And I like to use two miners. I think that it's fairly accurate. I don't know if it's factually accurate, but it's a little bit behind. You could see the hash rate is about 884 terahash. So it's gone down. It's gone down for sure. And it'll go up. You know, it goes up, it goes down. But what does this really mean as far as like people selling their rigs? That means I have a better chance, right? And so the lower we get into these 800s, 884 isn't the greatest, by the way. But uh, at this point over here, we were at 830. And so as more and more people come offline, and so I'm expecting, I think that solo mining will be better for me, right? Because obviously the less people that mine, the less competition that I have. So again, please go subscribe to TPS Miner. But something really important here, guys, that is going to change hopefully either really late tonight or very early tomorrow are these block times. And so if you don't understand what that means, this number going higher is really bad for us. You can see right now it's taking about 16 seconds to hit a block. And so that's a massive jump, right? If you think about from April, it was at 13, 13. You can see back here in January, same thing, 13. It's been around that 13 mark. Honestly, up until recently, it was about 14, even as of June 10th. And then out of nowhere, what day is this? Around June 21st, boom, we shot up to 16. So that means you're getting less and less blocks. That means everybody's making less and less money. Now, that's where I saw the opportunity. Like I said, a couple weeks ago when I started doing this, I think I started solo mining again about a, a week and a half ago. It could be upwards of two weeks, but I think about a week and a half ago. This should jump back down from 16 to 13. Now, what is the difference between 13 and 14 and 16? Now, Rabbit Mining, I was talking to him, and I'm going to take his word for it. He's a pretty smart guy. He said it's about a thousand block difference. Think about that. A thousand blocks we're losing every day just because of this change. And it's about to be reverted. And where this is where I think my opportunity comes in. So less hash rate, less people mining, because a lot of people have to turn off their rigs. There's, there's more and more people across the world turning off. Boom, the block time's about to go down, which means more and more blocks for other people. And thirdly, my farm just got way larger, right? If you remember when I first tried to solo mine on Ethereum, I only had about four giga hash for 30 days, I did it, four giga hash. And the last week, somebody felt bad for me and gave me four giga hash and we were gonna do a 50-50 split. We didn't end up hitting one. So really it was mostly four giga hash for a month. Now I did hit a block and I think that was uh, last month on just six giga hash at 44% luck. Now, does that mean I'm gonna hit it this month at 44% luck? Probably not. You know, it's all luck. You could hit it in, in the first second or you could hit it 100% or 200%, I have no idea. But when you combine all those elements, right? Yes, it's gambling at the end of the day, and I still don't think you should do it, but I think this would probably be my best chance to hit it, considering more and more people are getting off the network, and it's about to get significantly easier. So yeah, I know it sounds crazy, guys. That's my plan right now. Another thing, too, that I wanted to mention, if we go ahead and look at what to mine, right? Let's just go with uh, 9.5 giga hash, and I don't know the watts right now. I'd, I The rate is different at different locations, okay? So we'll just call it 15,000 watts. I don't even think it's that high, but whatever, right? So Ethereum after power making about $92 a day. And for me, that's not really that great. I mean, if we're just being perfectly honest with one another, 92 bucks, uh, yeah. I mean, if we were making, you know, three, $400 a month, or I'm sorry, a day, like we should be, then I'd be like, wow, okay, I don't wanna get rid of this. You know, I would definitely pull mine, but it's not like I'm missing out that much if we're just being honest here. So 
yeah, nothing to really miss out on. And uh, yeah, that's why I think it's it's better for me at this current moment. So a week is about six hundred and forty one dollars, or for the month is two thousand seven hundred and forty eight dollars. Think about that, two thousand seven hundred and forty eight dollars. And that's with no gambling. That's with pool, and that's assuming that everything stays the same. Now, could pool mining go up and become super profitable for everybody as of today or tomorrow? Uh, yeah, I mean, it could. I don't know what the future will entail. I think uh, I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people got a 20% boost in their payments all of a sudden. That being said, I'm sure a lot of people got off of Ethereum that will come back to Ethereum. So will you gain 20%? Probably not. I would expect maybe 10% more gains and then maybe the difficulty will adjust. So it gets very complicated. I don't know what exactly will happen. Of course, nobody really does. But I do think this is my best opportunity. And so that's why I have decided to gamble once again in solo mine Ethereum. And it's pushed out, uh, from my understanding, until September, the difficulty bomb. So right now, you know, it's about to be July. So we got July, we got August, and maybe September. So I do see myself solo mining probably for the next two months, which I think is really exciting. And I would not be surprised if we hit at least the three blocks, maybe even four. And if we hit four, I'm pretty positive. As long as I hit a block... I'm doing just as good as my pool mining, maybe a little bit less. But then again, you know, as long if I hit more than a block in a month, which statistically I'm supposed to hit about two in a month or uh, two in like five weeks. And again, it's all statistics. I could be wrong. I do think this would be the best opportunity for me to gamble on this. And I know I've rambled on enough, guys. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Uh, YouTube's been tough for me lately, man. Uh, you know, views are down. Not just my channel. It's just like how YouTube is right now for the crypto space. I know it's a bear market. I know there's a lot of uncertainty. You know, there's less and less people interested in crypto. But guys, stay with me through this winter. We're going to continue to make content. We're going to continue to try to just survive, man. Uh, got a flux banner right here. Shout out to Crypty. That's our sponsor for today. Crypty, thank you so much. And uh, I'll leave a link in the description below. You can get DJ Minds stuff like a shirt like this to support the channel or, you know, support the channel any way you can, just liking the video and watching it. And uh, I appreciate every single one of you guys. Keep mining. I'll catch you guys in the next one. DJ Minds signing out.